Yo guys, so this is a new age L33 3000 milliamp hour power bank. This is the largest power bank I have used in terms of battery capacity. Well, I think the largest consumer portable power bank is 40,000 milliamp hours. I'm not sure. But this one is actually the largest and the best power bank I have used. But it's not perfect. Anyway, I've been using this for about a week now. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing every aspect of the new age L30 power bank to find out if you should buy it. My name is Yudi. I talk about tech. Let's shoot. So before we begin, do me one favor. Give this video a like by hitting the like button. That will send a good message to YouTube so more people will get to see this video. Now I do have chapters of this video as table of contents in the description below. You can check them out so you can skip to any part of this video you'd like. So let's start with the unboxing of the new age 3000 mAh power power bank. At the front of the box is the model name and the battery capacity of the power bank. At the back is the listed features of the power bank and the charging inputs and outputs of the various ports on the power bank. And of course, a picture of Mr. JJ. But it will be Okocha, and he scored! And JJ Okocha's decision to stay on and play. So opening up the box, the first thing we see is the power bank. We also get a micro USB cable used for charging of the power bank. That's pretty much all we get in the box the power bank and the USB Type-C cable. The power bank has a nice feel to it. It's not a glossy finish, but it's not matte either. It's just normal plastic, really tough plastic. It's built quite well. Now towards the left side of the power bank, there's a rubber strap for carrying it. Now these are one of the things you might not really care about, but it's actually really nice to have. And considering that the power bank is not a lightweight, it's sort of heavy, but not too heavy. The strap does come in handy. It's easy to carry out with you. It's possible. And if you have deep pockets like mine, you could throw it in there. At the bottom of the power bank, we see the charging inputs and output information of the various ports. At the right side of the power bank, we see the strong light. It's what New Age called it. Now at the top part of the power bank, we see the ports, the power button and the LED battery indicator, which New Age did a great job at camouflage. It's actually there. If you tap the power button once, it turns on and you see the battery level of the power bank. To turn on the light, you hold down the power button for 2 seconds and you can switch between the different light modes by tapping the power button. Now to turn off the light, you just hold down the power button again for 2 seconds. By the way, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it. The ports. We have two USB type A ports capable of 15 watts of charging, a micro USB port used for charging the power bank capable of 10 watts of charging and lastly we have a USB type C port which can be used for charging the power bank or using the power bank to charge other devices. The type C port is capable of 15 watts of charging but when using it to charge the power bank, it's only capable of 10 watts. This is the only downside of the new age L30. 33,000 mAh hours that can only be charged at 10 watts. If you somehow manage to kill this power bank to 0%, it will take an eternity to charge back to 100%. So when I first got this power bank, I mean when I just first unboxed it, it was at 88%, which was good, but charging it back to 100% took about 1 hour 40 minutes. I did another charge test, this time the power bank was at 70%. Now charging it back to 100% took 4 and a half hours, pretty slow. I also tested how fast it charges other devices, in this case my phone. The app that was used was Aku Battery, which can be downloaded from the Play Store or the App Store. This is what the app looks like. So I plugged in my phone for 30 minutes and this was the result. In the screen off section, it added 70% in the 30 minutes of charging. And for the charging speed, still in the screen off section, we see its average speed of 32.2% in 1 hour. Still pretty slow. The new age L30 power bank isn't one for speed, especially when you are charging it. But it is one for battery life. Remember, I said when I unbox the power bank, I charge it to 100%. So day one, I use it to charge my phone from 30% to 100%. I also use it to charge my Zealous AirPods and I also use the light for about an hour. 
the next morning i checked the battery percentage and it went from 100 percent to 92 percent impressive right day two i wanted to test something so i turned on the light and just left it on it was like that for about two hours and 15 minutes and the battery percentage went from 92 percent to 92 percent it didn't move anyway still on day two i used the new age l30 power bank to charge my phone my brother also used it to charge his and the light was used even more and the next morning i checked the battery percentage and it went from 92 percent to 82 percent day three i did the same thing as day two and it lost another 10 percent from 82 percent to 72 percent three days of heavy use and we haven't even touched 60 percent the new age l30 3000 mAh power bank has really impressive battery life that's to be expected considering it's 33,000 mAh, hours, but still, wow. However, the charging is a different story. It's slow, but it's technically better than the Rymo Traveler 3x 27,000 mAh power bank. Link to that video will be in the description below. The new HL30 has faster charging, higher battery capacity, hence more battery life and better design in my opinion. So, I do recommend you buy the new age power bank. It will serve you well as new age power banks are known to last long without the battery life deteriorating too much. But if the slow charging really bothers you, I would say you should stay clear of this one. Cause if you're not charging this power bank every 2 or 3 days, it will take a lot of time to charge back to 100%. Let's say you use it for 10 days and now it's at 5%, it will take about 12 hours to get back to 100%. It's that slow. But when you do charge it, the battery life is insane. However, if you know any high capacity power bank like the new age L30 that has faster charging, do let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll get to review them. Let me know what you think of the new age L30 power bank. Do you consider buying one? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, give this video a like by hitting the like button and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it so you get notified when I upload a new video just like this one. My name is Yudi, this is Yudi Shoes, thank you so much for watching and you'll see me in my next video.